Let's talk about vSphere. vSphere is the technology from VMware that makes the virtual data center possible. In this diagram, we have a data center and it's been virtualized. There are three main components. The vCenter server that manages all of the virtualization servers. Then we have the virtualization servers here. These are ESXi Type 1 bare metal virtualization servers that run the virtual machines or virtual computers. And then we have the storage. The storage is network attached storage or storage area network where you can have all of your files and data saved and it's saved so that any one of these servers can access this data over the network. So you have your servers serving your virtual machines. You have your management server that can manage all of these servers. This is important because it builds in scalability, fault tolerance, and redundancy. In other words, we can migrate virtual machines from one server to the next if a server was to fail. And we have the storage which can be added to or dynamically expanded by just adding more disks. So this is essentially what we have here. Storage, processing, and management. Let's take a closer look. In this slide you can see the physical servers. The physical servers have VMware ESXi server installed on them. This makes them a type 1 bare metal hypervisor meaning the operating system that's on these servers is a virtualization server operating system. Then the virtual machines can be created on these ESXi servers. We can see here that this server has one, two, three, four, five virtual machines running on it. Now some of these virtual machines will be used to primarily provide an application or software. And then other virtual machines are an entire operating system that a user would have access to. Now how are these ESXi servers managed? They're managed from a separate management server called the vCenter server. The role of the vCenter server is to manage the ESXi servers as well as managing the virtual machines. It can move virtual machines from one ESXi server to another in order to load balance the load across the multiple servers. Now how do we access this vCenter server? This vCenter server is accessed and managed through a web browser. It's called a web client. This is the vSphere web client that's used to manage that entire virtual data center. You log in through a web browser into the vCenter management server, and then you use the graphical web browser interface, which includes icons and menus and settings that you can use to turn on and off virtual machines, delete them, create new virtual machines, add storage, set up networking, you name it. Let's take a look at how you would use this with NDG's NetLab. I have a web browser and I'm running NDG's NetLab server. With NetLab, we can use all of these devices remotely through a web browser interface. Let's take a look at that virtual data center now from the perspective of NetLab by NDG. In this lab, we have an ESXi server here, another ESXi server here. These are our two virtualization servers. We also have a storage area network right here, which is used to store our data or store those virtual machines. Then we have a vCenter server here that's used to manage the two ESXi servers. Lastly, we have a computer that is able to connect to the vCenter server by opening a web browser and just putting in the IP address and going to the IP address over the network. Let's take a look. So if I click on the vClient, which is right here, it opens up the vClient in NetLab. It's running an Ubuntu operating system. I'll just open Chrome, put in the IP address of the vCenter server, and proceed to it, put in the username and password, admin, and let's say VMware, and log into the vSphere web client, where I can manage 
the ESXi servers, as well as manage the virtual machines, add storage, set up networking, you name it. I hope this introduction to vSphere helped you to see how a vSphere data center or virtual data center is organized.